disgusting, shameful, embarrassing. Those are words some use to describe how Ohio treats people who risk their lives to save yours. We are talking about firefighters and what happens when they're diagnosed with cancer. Five on your side investigator Sarah Buttison has been digging into this for months. Well, Sarah, that cancer diagnosis may be because of their work. There is growing evidence showing an indisputable link between fighting fires and getting cancer. But so far, Ohio lawmakers refuse to recognize that link, leaving firefighters without help they need when they face a battle more frightening than flames. Make sure you turn the treatment field on. This is one of the ways. Everything should be a go. Yep. Mike Palumbo is fighting. And I am back on therapy then. The toughest battle of his life. And, and basically, this device generates a field at 200 megahertz. He has glioblastoma. It's magnets and it goes through my head to stop the cancer cells from spreading. An aggressive form of brain cancer. The first thing that popped into my mind is my wife and my children and how it's gonna affect them. The 48-year-old father of five was diagnosed last fall. I have a seven-year-old son and, you know, I thought about, you know, because at the time when we were doing something where I was holding his hand and I, I thought, I may never feel his hand as a grown adult. The cause in most cases is unclear, but Mike says he knows why he is sick. He blames the job he loves. Do you believe that your cancer was caused by fighting fires? Yeah, I definitely do. There is an association between firefighting and cancer, and that association does appear to be causal. Tom Hales is a medical epidemiologist with the Centers for Disease Control. He conducted a landmark study reviewing 60 years of data from more than 30,000 firefighters. We found that firefighters had increased risk for all cancers, um, and that increased risk was primarily driven by six types of cancers. This is his uh, fire coat. Including oral cancer. And it's been hanging here for five years and I don't have the heart to move it. It took the life of Don Huff's husband, Tommy, a Cleveland firefighter. You still miss him. Oh, tremendously. I just, I can't get over it. He was everything to me. You really know that you have an expiration date. And the leukemia Steve Westcott battled and beat, not once, but twice. We all do, but when you know yours is coming, possibly sooner than others, that, that hits you pretty good. News Channel 5 investigators found there's more, a lot more, evidence than just Dr. Hale's data. We found study after study connecting fighting fires to an increased risk of cancer. Studies done around the globe and here in the U.S., the types of cancer varied. The results, always the same. But in spite of the evidence, we found Ohio is one of just 16 states refusing to offer help to firefighters who get cancer. I feel almost embarrassed as the state of Ohio. For years, Senator Tom Patton has tried to pass what's known as presumptive cancer legislation. You know, we can't even get, get it out of a committee. A similar bill in the House is also mired in bureaucracy. There's no other disabling injury that's, that someone in Ohio will, will um, uh, receive while working that we don't take care of. The law would guarantee firefighters workers' compensation benefits if they get cancers proven to be connected to fighting fires. Benefits that would allow them to take time off without using up their sick days and full medical coverage, something they don't get now. The bills are astronomical. Cleveland firefighter Mark Saley says his fellow firefighters held a benefit to raise money when he battled lymphoma. I've never seen you know, gone through something like that, and I've never seen medical bills that high. So why is it Ohio lawmakers won't pass this legislation? I'm Sarah. So, I'm with News hi. Channel 5. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, and we maybe wanted some to give other you time. We went to Columbus to ask Susan Cave. She's fought against it for years as head of the Ohio Municipal League, a lobbying group funded by Ohio's towns and cities with your tax dollars. Could you explain quickly why you oppose the legislation? One of the things was that we heard it was going to cost a good bit of money. She's right. The state estimates the cost could be as high as $75 million a year. Firefighters are getting sick doing their jobs. Aren't we obligated to pay the bills? You know, you're being obnoxious about all this. And I said I had an appointment to keep. I am trying to get out of here. They need a face to put to it. I'm willing to be that face. So I'm on battery power right now. Mike says just his magnetic device costs $23,000 a month. Add in the pills, treatments, and surgeries, 
and he worries he'll exceed the $1 million his medical insurance will cover. And even though he's just months away from 25 years on the job, he can't retire early because he needs that coverage. That is a stressor because, like I said, I want to be able to be with my wife and my kids. So much so, he often contemplates whether he would have become a firefighter if he knew what he knows now. Honestly, with my children, it's, and it's hard for me to say, I don't know if I would, you know, it's a great job, but my family is more important. Mike underwent surgery Tuesday to remove a tumor from his brain. He's still in the hospital tonight. He's doing well, but he is in pain. He's expected to be released tomorrow. Wow, I'm sure this story that people are seeing tonight, they are shocked uh, by what is happening to our firefighters and, and the cause and what is happening with his cancer and maybe not being able to pay his bills. It's a really stressful and difficult time, and when you don't have the workers' compensation benefits, it makes it even more stressful. Heart wrenching to see them even questioning the choices that they've made along the way. Thanks, Absolutely. Sarah. Absolutely. Very important story. All right, let's send it over to.